What's going on everyone? In today's tutorial, we're going to be breaking down a global damage modifier macro that will automatically calculate sneak attack damage for rogues on the D&D 5e character sheet for the Roll20 virtual tabletop. All right, gang. So if you're like me, you love that a lot of stuff on these sheets can be automated and auto calculated. And if you've ever played a rogue, you know that it can be annoying to have to manually type out or select your roll or sneak attack after you've made your attack and damage rolls. What I have for you today is two versions of the same macro that are going to not only automatically calculate your sneak attack damage, they will continue to level it up as your character levels up. In the video description for this video, you will find the two versions of the macro. One of them is prompted and the other is unprompted and we'll explain why in a little bit. To use these macros, the first thing we need to do is go to the gear on the upper right hand corner of our character sheet and click it. And in the right hand column, we need to enable the show global damage modifier field buttons before returning to the core page. Back on the core page in the middle of the sheet, we'll find the attacks and spellcasting section and we'll see that a global damage modifier field has now been added. In this field, we're gonna set the name to be sneak attack we're going to copy paste the no prompt version of this macro into the damage field and then again into the critical damage field and set the type to be sneak. Then click on the gear to close. Ensure the blue check mark next to the field is enabled and then click on our weapon to test the macro. If we mouse over it in the chat box, we will see the macro has rolled 1d6 sneak attack damage. But let's keep testing until we get a critical hit to ensure that that's working as well. Now that we have a crit, we can see that it's rolled 1d6 and then a second iteration of 1d6. But let's test to make sure the macro works as we level up our character. I'm going to change my character to be level 20 and continue rolling attacks until I get another critical hit. Now that we have a crit, if we mouse over the dice in the chat box, we can see that it rolled 10d6 and then because it crit, it rolled an additional 10d6. Now I'm going to set my character level back to 1 and discuss the prompted version of this macro. If we copy the prompted version of this macro and post it into the damage field of the global damage modifier, when we click on a weapon with the blue check mark enabled, we'll see it asks us a prompt as to whether we want to use sneak attack. Now this would be unnecessary if we were attacking directly from our character sheet, but myself and many others like to use token actions. If we close our character sheet and click on our token with a token action assigned, you'll see that a bar appears in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Clicking on these actions will automatically roll attacks, skills, and other things from the character sheet in a single click. If we were relying on token actions, we wouldn't want to have to open our character sheet and tick or untick the sneak attack global damage modifier each time. By having this prompt, we can continue to attack directly from our token and enable sneak attack or disable sneak attack as needed. And that's all I have for you tonight, gang. Another simple copy paste macro that should make your lives just a little bit easier. If you need help implementing this macro or wanna to try to change it somehow, feel free to reach out to me and I will assist if I am able. If you have an idea for a future Roll20 tutorial, leave a comment down below with what you need help with, and I'll definitely try to work it into my schedule. And in closing, I want to give a big shout out to Roll20 who has seen fit to include me in their Roll20 Spotlight program. This not only helps other people find my channel and my content, but it does unlock a Roll20 Pro subscription for me, which I do use to unlock additional features and goodies for my games and for making these tutorial videos. So again, big thank you to Roll20 and thank you to each of you for watching this video.